Hello and welcome to this Friday's Travel and Young. If you if you look behind us over here, that's <laughs> one of my recently assembled Christmas gifts. Yes. Yeah. I have plans for that. I don't want to give it away, but it does include programming and an Arduino, yes. which I also recently I'm bought. So glad I saw that. And this I'm is gonna for you. You will see yes. soon what it will become. But <laughs> Welcome back, and we want to touch again on our trip to the U.S. and yes. America. And this time we're going to talk about Nashville. Home sweet home. And we want to tell, <laughs> talk about some of the top things to see, to eat, and to music. Yeah. I don't know, to listen to <laughs> music in Nashville. We love Nashville, yeah. and we went and visited Nashville while we were there. And stick around to the end because there's like an extra Friday fact. Yes massive thing ish i don't know it's just big it's there's footage it was a sight to behold of where we went to university and we're going to talk about that at the very end because it's close to nashville we yep. lived in nashville and that's where we met yep. uh, but let's start with what there is to see in nashville yeah and there's tons of history now nashville is most known for its music history of course music row which we'll talk about in a bit but there are also some other really interesting historical places you can go to one of which is an exact replica of the parthenon in athens greece yeah you don't need to go to greece no you don't you just need to go to Nashville. it's it's actually historically accurate it does look exactly like the parthenon would have looked when it was standing and it's all painted up um it is just rather unusual that it's kind of in the middle of Nashville. Uh, never built, quite, I never quite understood it. They built it for their 100th anniversary. Yes. And um, sure. it's still there. <laughs> so go visit this interesting bit of history. So on to culture. Um, and I'm just going to tell it's basically music culture. And that's <laughs> uh, <laughs> two big things. The Country Music Hall of Fame, which I am not a huge yeah. country music fan. I like... <laughs> I like Americana music, I like some country music, but it's actually a really nice museum in downtown Nashville. Yep. And um, at one time we went and one of our favorite bands, the Zach Brown Band, they had a big display of yep. his stuff there, which was super cool because we're big fans of his. He kind of straddles between country and rockish and mm. Americana and all kinds of stuff. But also Music Row is there. Yes. And that's like this street that has a collection of studios, recording studios, and some of them have had super famous albums and I'm sure you've heard. Yeah. Things from Elvis Presley, some of that was recorded there. As uh, Some Elvis stuff was recorded in Music Row. Some of those you can actually take tours of. So yep. it's super cool. You need to visit Music Row, even if just to drive up and down and see it. Mm. But take a tour of one of the uh, studios while you yeah. can. A lot of people don't actually realize this is just a small fact. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of music is recorded in Nashville just because they have so many facilities there um, for recording music. So everything from rap and hip hop to country get recorded there. So it's uh, really well known. And I will say, while Miranda and I went to Middle Tennessee State, which is 30 minutes away and at the end of this video, yeah. <laughs> my brother actually went to Belmont University, which is at the very end of Music Row. And he yep. studied music recording because it's such a big... You know, it's just a big part of Nashville of all kinds of music. Also, a lot of really good jazz in Nashville. Yes. Um, all right, so shopping. Shopping, always a fun subject. Um, there is a ton of shopping to do, but the biggest shopping mall in uh, in Nashville now is called Opry Mills. And it's called Opry Mills because it really sits on what used to be Opryland. Um, a bit of a sad story. There used to be this huge amusement park there in Nashville. Josh and I both went to it when we were growing up. It was so much fun. And then kind of in the 90s, they shut it down and now it's a giant mall. <laughs> yeah, I have one quick story. I, I, I told her we're going to keep this short and this is just yeah. not happening. <laughs> one quick story about Opryland. So my grandparents lived in Kentucky and we'd fly into Nashville, my brother and I, as kids, like little kids. And one time I will never forget I get sick on planes, or at least I did. My grandparents picked us up at the airport. They immediately took us to Opryland, and we're gonna spend the whole day at Opryland. Oh, no. We were like in the line of cars going to get off the highway to go to Opryland, and they had to open the door so I could throw up outside the car. Oh, no. So I didn't throw up in Opryland, <laughs> But I did after the plane while we were driving to Opryland. But we used to go as uh, as kids. Yeah. When my grandparents would take us because they only lived an hour north of Nashville. My favorite story, just really quickly, again, not going to be short, but um, the year that they closed Opryland, they actually didn't do a great job of telling people that they were closing Opryland. So we really had like a National Lampoon summer vacation situation where... 
I was working downtown at a, a tourist place in a gift shop and a lot of people, because the where I worked owned the um, Opryland amusement park, they would come in and complain to me that they had driven so far in their RV and got to the parking lot only to find out that Opryland was closed. Well, this is before like <laughs> Facebook and text messages and all that stuff. So I don't know how you'd find out. I had multiple out. people. I don't know how you'd find out if it was open or not they anyway. Were, they were but... very angry. <laughs> all right. So next is sports because sports is actually a growing scene in Nashville. Yes. When we lived there a long, long, long time ago, the NHL <laughs> came with the Nashville Predators. And then also the Tennessee Titans came, which is American football, which I'm mm -hmm. not a huge American football fan, but we did go to a couple Titans games. Yep. And the very last year we lived in Nashville was the year they went to the Super Bowl. And that was just electric. And it was amazing. We yeah. left before the Super Bowl, <laughs> but we went to one of the games before the playoffs and before we moved. And then yeah. the whole Music City Miracle. If you don't know this, I'll link you to this. You have to look it up. An amazing thing that happened Yeah. in their first playoff game. Um, and then there's also a minor league baseball team called the Nashville Sounds. And then there's an uh, European soccer or... You're, I'm sorry, now I said it all wrong. It's I wanted football, to get it right. Real football. European football, American yeah. soccer team, the Nashville <laughs> SC team, which uh, they're actually getting a stadium of their own that's opening next year or yeah. this year. So very, very cool. Um, and the last thing we want to mention is actually <laughs> Christmas related because yes. Nashville, we were there at, we left before Christmas Day, but we were there around Christmas season and they do insane stuff for Christmas. Yeah, Opryland Hotel. It's so decked out. Opryland Hotel is always decked out in insane lights. But what we did is with our good friends, Jen and Steve, we went out about 30 miles um, east of Nashville to Lebanon. Mm -hmm. I want to say that right. Lebanon. It's spelled Lebanon, but if you say Lebanon to a Tennessean, it's Lebanon. It's Lebanon. <laughs> um, and they had this crazy display. It was just out of this world. And um, I mean, it was one of those things where you drive through. It took us about two and a half hours and everything's kind of coordinated to lights. You turn your radio to a, a station and everything is coordinated and it just... It was well, over the top. Two two of that two and a half hours was waiting in line because yeah. you drive through this. So here's the, this is some video of what it was. It was yeah. a lot of waiting, great time to chat. Um, I had to run Chatting out and use a porta potty, yeah. so I did that at one point. <laughs> and then we uh, and I had to find the car in the line of cars later. And then you drive through this crazy. Oh, a little over two kilometers, I think, distance it that was. you're driving around these lights and there were, are all... there were times when it was really almost overwhelming because you were in these, like, light tunnel things just going over you and, you know, it felt a bit like being in warp speed. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> cool, though. All right, so one of the nicest things to do when you're in the South mm. is eat. eat. And we want to pinpoint some of our favorite places to eat when we're in Nashville. Yeah, and one of the most famous things that you will hear about when you go to Nashville is Nashville hot chicken. And let me tell you, they are not messing around when they say it's hot chicken because it's hot. One of our favorite places to go is Prince's Hot Chicken Shack. They're in Nashville and they've got some very, very spicy, spicy hot <laughs> chicken, but you've got to put yourself to the test. Yeah, the, the Hungry Dane here has a hot chicken thing. Yeah. That it's, that it says Nashville chicken, uh, hot chicken, but I'm um, getting it in Nashville is a little bit better. <laughs> and last time we went was with our friend Charlie. Yeah, Charlie Whitten, who's an awesome, awesome guitar player. Um, you can find some of his stuff on YouTube. Give well, him we'll a link to it. I yeah. didn't get to go this time. We didn't have enough time, but it's yeah. one of our favorite places. Also, barbecue, as you probably yes. have gathered if you watch enough of our videos, you know we like barbecue. Nashville has great barbecue, and Martin's Absolutely. is super good. And that's one of, I, I, we didn't go this time. I was really, we couldn't go everywhere on this yeah. trip. <laughs> But uh, a few trips ago, I went to Martin's and met up with Zach Logan, Zach Logan who yeah. uh, we interviewed on a, on a previous video. I'll link to that. And uh, he's a super good musician, and it's always fun to meet up with folks like him. And, and it's just super high, good quality barbecue. Mm. Very good. Love it. Martin's Barbecue in Nashville. Yep. And our next place you cannot miss, you have to make time for it, is Cracker Barrel. Because this is some good quality down-home southern food it is not pretty food it's not healthy for you in any way shape or form but that is exactly how you should how it should be you can go and get 
tons of breakfast stuff, just plates and plates and plates of breakfast. Their, their savory stuff is great. I love their chicken and dumplings. We always go to Cracker Barrel. Yeah, and they're of course not only in Nashville. Yeah, they're um, all but over. you guys went while you were there. Uh, yes. And we went together in Murfreesboro, um, yeah. where our school was. Again, later in the video this season. <laughs> um, Cracker Barrel's good. And an honorable mention on this, by the way, real fast, is Waffle House. We wanted to go, yeah. but we didn't get a chance to go to Waffle House either. Open 24 hours total diner food and it's actually it is, not so bad go to waffle house and they're also not just in nashville but there's a ton in nashville tried it 2 a.m it yeah. hits different all right <laughs> now we're going to talk about actually a mexican meal because yes. we've talked on previous videos uh, about how we love mexican and we actually recorded a bunch of stuff yes, there so let's just go ahead and look at that right now we've got miranda who you know <laughs> we've got maya who you know you've got Jin who you don't know and we got Steve, who's next to me, whom you don't know, but guess what? Now you do. <laughs> Jen and Steve live here in Nashville, and they're Maya's godparents, and some of our very best friends who always bring us to this wonderful Mexican place whenever we're here in Nashville. And I'm doing all the talking, but I have to say one story about what we have right here. Our mutual friend, Joseph. This is cheese dip. Cheese dip for the nachos. Our mutual friend Joseph would say that his mom would call this cheese soup and she would eat it with a spoon. Not what it's meant I've seen for, nothing but it's wrong super with good. That. Yeah. Miranda, do you have anything to say? This is you're fulfilling I'm, your dream of getting a like, Mexican. <laughs> oh, but you like Mexican and you can't get I Mexican like this. I love Mexican. You cannot get Mexican like this in Denmark. I don't care what you say. Um, this does not exist in Denmark and my heart is happy right now because I have my giant margarita and I do not wish I'm really sad about because we're, we're in the land of 21 drinking age. Yeah, none for you. You're in a margarita sandwich. When but, the re but Steve is drinking a soda in solidarity yeah, with you. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you Steve. <laughs> Let's, we all got different things basically yes. almost. So Steve, what did you get? So this is called polio poblano. Yeah. It's chicken with uh, with uh, grilled peppers and onions, and then there's a little bit of a cheese sauce kind of wow. on the bottom. Looks fantastic. Miranda, you're way over there, but you I, got... I got the classic Mexican restaurant favorite, chimichanga. All right. Maya? I'm honestly a little bit confused. I got what I thought was a taco, and it appears to be a sandwich. Okay. I believe it's you have a torta. torta. You have a torta. torta. Okay. Like so, a Cuban sandwich. Uh, that? Basically. Yeah. You've got a chimichanga as well. I do. I have a chimichanga with ground beef. And that means it's fried? No? Yes. yes. Fried. The whole yeah. thing okay. is fried. I got Lightly fried. Yeah. a bunch Thank of you. meat. Thank you. We got some Thank you. Extras. Okay. Thank you very much. I got a bunch of meat with chilies, tortilla, and refried beans. This is like, I, I mean, I'm excited. And it look, be. Looks we've taken a serious hit to the, uh, yep, to the cheese situation. Cheese cheese but we have refilled the chips. Yet. Ready to rock, guys? Yeah, oh, yeah, ready to rock. Ready to rock. By the way, we've all basically eaten. <laughs> my plate is like done for. But we got to show this cheese yeah. soup in action. This is like five minutes later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's only a few moments have passed. Yeah, so the cheese soup, if it sits, it gets like a little bit of a. You know, a little bit of film on there. So you gotta like break through that. And and let me show you the like the consistency here. Like this is perfect queso yeah, it's, right here. It's like, only this good is, if this is what you want. There's like trailing dots yeah, yeah, of cheese go. <laughs> on the right, table exactly. going to you that drip exactly. off as you're eating it. That's <laughs> when you know. Or or like you get it on the side of your mouth because it just doesn't all go away right. Uh, Alright, so up. we've got this um very special so this place, when you walk in, so, so you, this go, is, so, you know, you're from here. Well, so this is a pretty traditional um, style, me Mexican style taco. They're not huge. I mean, they're only about, they're only about three inches, um, only about three inches around, um, but super simple. Uh, protein, um, this is asada, which is steak, but you can do it with chicken. They also have tripe and tongue and everything else on the, on the menu. Um, but onion, cilantro, and like a little bit of lime to kind of like squeeze over it. But but that's that, it. but that's it. The family that moved here uh, and opened this place in the early '90s 
they came here from Southern California, but they were Guadalajara. Um, and so the food that you see here is pretty traditional, kind of Guadalajara. It's not like, uh, it's not like Mexico City's street food. Um, and it's all, you know, it's, it's all kind of plated and, and like, you don't see any moles and you don't see, um, you don't see a ton of seafood on here. Um, but it's, it's very kind of chicken and beef heavy. Um, and everything is, for the most part, I mean, Americans eat a lot of flour tortillas, but these are a lot of, I mean, corn tortillas are the most, uh, are the most common things. And so that's what, that's what these tacos come on. But these tacos are like perfect. And they're like, they're like little three bite tacos. They're amazing. And this is what Obama had when he was here. Yeah. So President Obama, <laughs> when, when he was uh, visiting Nashville, uh, they, he stopped by here on those. Little, you can go back to the airport on uh, coming by here on Nolan's Hill Road. And so he he hopped in here and he got like takeout for his entire se uh, Secret Service detail. So. I'm so glad that Jen and Steve took us there. And at, <laughs> we we our friend actually we have a good friend who lives here yes. who's American who's married to a Dane Chelsea. And last time we were in Nashville, we met um, we met her. her in Nashville because she's from Nashville. And went to the same place with yeah. Jen and Steve and always, Chelsea that time. Always good memories. Of yeah. the, oh, the ranchero, yeah. the queso dip. But the last place we want to mention is someplace kind of special. It's a little bit new. Um, it's a restaurant called Lou. And we were told about this place by our good friend Carson Cody, um, who is another musician who we know and love. And um, he's getting started on some new music pro projects. So also check him out. But this place was so fascinating. It was like tapas. But... Just, just totally different things. It's hard to describe. It was so, so good. I don't know if it's meant to be. I guess it's kind of, but we had six of us there. Yeah. And we just decided to buy everything on the menu. Yeah. And then all of us just tried it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's exactly the style. I think maybe if you had two people, you'd kind of top us in a way. But we ultimately made it top us because yeah. <laughs> we all wanted to try everything. And, and it was so good. And there wasn't anything that I disliked. It was all amazing. And it was almost like a, a home down, you know, home food. Yeah. Well, Noma and it's in almost. a home. It's yeah, like and in it's a in a home. home. It, like what used to be a home from the outside, it like used to, it's, it's like looks like it used to be a home. I would highly recommend it. We had a fantastic yeah, meal. Quality is top notch. Yes. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so the thing that Nashville is definitely yeah. known for. <laughs> is music Absolutely. and you've got to see live music and every time i'm there we see we, something we see something so there's so many great venues third and lindsley the brooklyn bowl which is yeah. brand new basement basement east actually there's a great record store called grimies and sometimes yes. they have like album release parties where the artist will play music and i've actually got a few records from some small live sessions from artists like yeah. lone bellow and amos lee from grimies um that's a great place and then you know, I mean, there's, uh, all, there's all kinds of just little joints up and down Broadway. Uh, city Winery. There's, yeah, there's City Winery. So good. You can go down Printer's Alley, which is a super famous alley of all these kind of dive bars where you can see up and coming artists all but the time. But do not wander into any of the nonsense places like Florida Georgia Line. No, whatever, please don't go or there. Or some Kid no. Rock nonsense. <laughs> don't be fooled, fooled into going into those tourist traps. Go to the real ones. Seek out yeah. real good music in real good places. And there's three specific ones yes. we want to definitely mention. First is the Wild Horse Saloon, which I don't even know how much it's open now. They had some damage as part of that. The flood um, back in The flood, but also that explosion that happened yes, last Christmas yeah. damaged stuff on 2nd Second, Second Avenue. Um, but when we lived there, it was a it was, pretty happening place. It was a and, hot ticket. And they have a huge stage, and that's actually where Miranda and I met. Yes. Um, in 1998. Yes. We were both working there, so it's also <laughs> quite special to us. Um, it's right on 2nd Avenue and it's, uh, I mean, even if you just go in and get a drink, um, but try to catch some music because they typically have music. Mm. Um, and it's a cool place for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, another place that you absolutely have to try to at least get in to do a tour if they aren't having um, some music there is the Ryman Auditorium. That is the original home of the Grand Ole Opry radio show. It was there for decades before they moved to its current place <clears throat> out by the Opryland Hotel. Um, but they call it Mother Church for a reason. It was a church at one time. It was an active church. Um, and it is one of the most beautiful venues in Nashville. You just have to go there. Yeah, and the tour is worth it if you can't actually Absolutely. see the show. My grandfather 
lived in Kentucky, as I'd mentioned before, yeah. and he used to drive a bus um, as one of his jobs, like a long time ago. And he'd drive people down to Nashville, yeah. and he'd go or sit in the bus and listen on the radio to the Grand Ole Opry while it was in the Ryman. I mean, there's so much history to this place. Mm. And then for a while, it was closed, and then they refurbished the whole thing, and it's just yeah. such a beautiful place now. I've seen, well, uh, I've seen Jason Isbell there. Mm. We've seen Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors yeah. there. Um, I actually saw Harry Connick there back in yeah. college. I, I think mean, those all are maybe kinds the of people only. Play there. And then I've been on a tour, and then they have these famous hatch prints, um, which are posters for every show that's there. I have some hanging in my house. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Ryman is so cool, and it's like super central and easy to get to, yeah. and walkable from downtown. Um, but the other place is the Shermerhorn, which is a Ooh. recent addition, actually, and it's this uh, it's the Symphony Center. Um, and we've gone to two shows there. Once yeah. we saw Amos Lee, which was a really good play with the Nashville Symphony Orchestra, which was awesome. Yeah. But this trip, we got to go inside and finally yes. see Drew Holcomb and Ellie Holcomb <laughs> and the neighbors and their Christmas show. It, it was, was so good. So fantastic. I'm so glad we got to go. If you don't know this already, he is absolutely my favorite artist and the reason why I learned how to play the guitar. <laughs> And uh, it was so great to see them again. Yeah. It's rare that we get to now because of living over here. Yeah, they're so much fun to see. They have such great chemistry when they do get to sing together, um, and and they're just perfect. But the the venue itself is amazing. It's got great acoustics. I loved seeing the Amos Lee show there. It was ab it just blew me away. Um, if you've never listened to him, you absolutely have to give him a listen as well. Yeah. So the Ryman Auditorium, uh, super big, and the Shermerhorn, which is actually yes. just a couple. You can do a tour of the Ryman and then go to a show of the Shermerhorn. And yeah, and knock it all out <laughs> in the same day. <laughs> all right, so the last thing that we wanted to mention was basically this extra little bit, which is where Miranda and I went to school, Middle Tennessee yes. State University. So a lot of people have asked, like, what are our professions and what do we do? Do we have video in our past? And what we do. Yeah. Many, many, many years ago, <laughs> we went to MTSU and studied TV production, and these yeah. are the buildings that we spent so, so much, much time, time. <laughs> learning learning something that would be dormant in our minds for 20 years until we got around yeah. to this YouTube stuff. And it was so cool to walk around the campus and show it to Maya. Yeah, and it's just fun going back, um, going to the music. I minored in music, so I spent tons of time also in the music building. Um, but like Josh said, we both major, well, you majored in recording industry and also minored in, in television production. And I actually did television production, so we spent so much time in those buildings. So it was really cool to get to go back and kind of talk about our history and our origin story. Yeah, and show it to Maya. <laughs> and show um, it to Maya. And so that's an extra little special thing for you at the very end. And all right, we want to make sure you stick around. We have a video that we did once before where we talked about comparing Tennessee and Denmark. So yeah. there's a link here. Check that out if you haven't already. Otherwise, we hope you enjoyed our top list of things to do <laughs> in Nashville. If there's anything you think need to be added to the list, let us know. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.